What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another Planes and Simple here on the PC. Of course, Planes and Simple by the none other than Mr. Stevie, of course. Uh, how's everybody doing? Appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Welcome in, boys and girls. And I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to hide what just happened. I was recording this voiceover and and my program crashed <laughs> my editor so it's kind of hard to record a voiceover when you don't know what's going on in the video because you can't see it because the editor crashed anyway <laughs> look at my auger wagon it's gotta love that by the way just, just, just saying i kind of like it all right so what you're looking at here real fast guys is you're looking at some crazy numbers of straw here in a second and uh i believe it was around 30 million liters total it's a that's a lot <laughs> 30 million the homestead storage holds 20 million and we had it completely filled and then some you know it's a whole thing so i decided to sell all the nice straw my silage and my grass so you, you can tell there there was just a almost 20 million liters there was but that first truck started filling you see so there's that um and there's more up here <laughs> <laughs> there's more up here <laughs> at the north place too so it's like oh my goodness all my tractors all my trucks i believe i stopped the tractors in a minute because it was getting to be a little crazy with so much stuff running on course play but anyway so yeah what i'm going to try to do here guys or what i am doing here is i'm going to sell all my grass my straw and my silage over here at the biogas plant i would feel very accomplished with myself if I can at least purchase all the fields on this 4X map. Um, I don't know that I've ever actually purchased all the fields on a 4X map in like a single player Let's Play setting. Um, of course, in multiplayer, you know, we did Cherry Hill at least once, maybe twice. I know for sure we, we harvested Cherry Hill at least one time every single map or every single field on that map, which, yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot, a lot, a lot. But that's okay. All right, going to sell up my potato planters as well because I don't need them. I'm never going to plant potatoes again, just saying. Um, the other thing with this map, guys, is I want to talk about, well, look at all the stuff that's caught in traffic, by the way. Yeah, with these big trailers, the trucks just don't move as often as you would like. So it's kind of a thing where you almost need less. Less is almost more. Uh, but what I want to talk about with this series, guys, oh, first off, cluster cluster truck here at the homestead um, plus i'm trying to fill up the animals that's what i'm doing with this truck at the same time see i'm hauling silage here uh but there's a lot of silage too like seven eight million liters almost eight uh with this series guys this is episode 55 and i think i'm gonna go ahead and push this series to 60 episodes um it's a right nice nice round number i feel like 60 episodes is a good place to call this series um I'm, there's some things that you know say the next episode which obviously i've already recorded i haven't voiced it over yet obviously but i've recorded it and and there's just some stuff that uh took a little longer than i oh my god look at the line of traffic here uh took a lot longer than i anticipated and uh therefore i'm just not done with it yet <laughs> you know so I think I'm going to try to go ahead and push the series to 60. Once we get the series, I'll call it done. But, uh, yeah, and I know it's going to come out after Farm Sim 19. But this usually tends to happen where I go a couple weeks longer with kind of, you know some of my older series before I jump into a new one. And I do plan on having a new one up as soon as I possibly can. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I hope to, you know, have some first look videos on, I, I probably do it on console and on Xbox, or console and Xbox, that's the same thing, console and uh, 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 PC here, I'm not totally sure, um, as my setup sits right now today, I don't have an Xbox anymore in my setup, because I'm in my garage, and that's still in the basement, uh, I don't know if I really want to bring it out here to the garage, it's just, it's more wires, and then I have to set up my HDMI switch so I can like record it and see it, which not a big deal. I should quit whining and just do it, right? <laughs> That's probably what I should do. Because uh, when 19 comes out, I, I would like to at least try a little bit of uh, multiplayer and see how multiplayer runs on there. If it's garbage, like 
you know, Farm Sim 15, or Farm Sim, sorry, 15 and 17 have been on the Xbox, then I probably won't play too much multiplayer on Xbox, but if it's okay, then I could see myself playing at least a little bit of it, maybe like one, one night a week uh, for a little bit, but my primary focus, of course, is going to be a PC, because I'm going to have a server and all that just fun stuff like that, so there is that. Any hoozles. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set up a course to run to the cows because uh, it was a lot of running. And I didn't really feel like doing it all manually, I won't lie. Plus, you know, course play. Why not? <laughs> you know? Why not use course play? When in doubt, use course play. That's my, that's my, uh, my theory. I'm actually I'm going to miss it for 19, guys. I really am. I am going to miss it in 19. It's not going to be in 19, at least at first. You know, like all mods, they're not going to be in 19 at first. So I'm definitely going to miss uh, miss, miss it, like, a lot. <laughs> Just saying. I, I, I am definitely going to miss it. So um, I've been loading up the manure here. It's kind of one of those things where I'm probably not going to use it in the field. So I might as well use it somehow. And uh, by, by bringing the conveyor belts over here and the auger wagons... Hauling manure is actually not bad now because the auger wagons fill the truck pretty fast, relatively, and uh, it's just it's kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie. So they're full on silage already. The cows. So you just gotta keep chewing through, and I'm I'm cheating here, sending trucks early, you know, before before I should. So that's whatever, right? It's whatever. So. But yeah, hauling manure is not bad. Uh, I will say a trailer load of manure is a lot for this truck. <laughs> of course, you guys know these are jacked up trailers by Stevie. So they have, you know, all the capacities. And, uh, yeah, they're kind of they're kind of heavy. They're kind of heavy. I'm not going to lie. So as far as the rest of the series goes, uh, you guys know I have potatoes and sugar beets over in the field there. Just throwing that out there. Um, I would like to run the potato steamer and... Um, the or the, the cleaner and the steamer i can't say that other word because people make fun of me so the cleaner and the steamer and then the beet pulp maker i would like to make some beet pulp just to say i've done it because i think those are like the last things on this map i haven't done i've done all the sawmill stuff probably should revisit that and just you know top everything off but whatever um, i never can find the greenhouse area over here i always get lost um i've done all these greenhouses uh well eventually here you know what i'm saying like it's already been done but i don't know if i've recorded it but uh you know making compost here with the compost maker um the the greenhouses um uh, like i said all the logging stuff and i've done uh cows and sheep I, i'm not gonna get pigs this late in the game that's not gonna happen um not gonna happen at all just throwing that out there not happening okay not at all uh the compost maker was full of compost by the way so it wouldn't make any more compost because it was full of compost uh so that's a bit of a problem by the way compost worth a ton of money just throwing that out there <laughs> problem is it takes so much to make it, it it's unless you well know, really all it takes to make it is diesel fuel and as long as you have an endless supply of diesel fuel which i kind of do on this map it's not a big deal to make it but uh yeah, so this is kind of just a hauling episode. I'm making a lot of money um, off the straw. It really doesn't look like that much, but it is. So there's that. So we're going to do these other like greenhouse things over here too. Um, these actually require seed. Like actual seed seed. So we'll have to get some of that. There's a helicopter outside, by the way. My windows in my garage door are rattling. It's so low. Wow. <laughs> I kind of want to run out there real fast and see what the heck that is. But it's a low flying helicopter out there. I kind of think you guys can hear it. Pretty sure. <laughs> the thing was low, man. Dude, the, the windows in my garage door are rattling. <laughs> like, that's not good. That is not good. Uh, so I'm just going to throw this out here, here, or throw this out here now. Um, potatoes and sugar beets, I will never do on this scale again. 
And if I do that, oh, by the way, they're not ready. I'm a total dum dum. So I'm just going to drive the stuff and get it ready. Uh, but if I ever do potatoes and sugar beets to this scale again, it'll 100% be in multiplayer where you actually have smart people to, you know, unload them and, and stuff like that and instead of, instead of, you know, course play drivers that are just, oh, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Just, err. Uh, I can't tell you. We'll get into this in another video, but the hours, the hours I put into this harvest. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> Let me just throw it out there. Oh, my Lanta. It was terrible. But, you know, it's okay. It's part of playing a 4X map. You have to do long harvest. So, yeah, there's that, right? There's that. So, speaking of harvest... We will probably harvest the fields that we own as far as I don't even know what's planted in them, honestly, at this point. But whatever's planted in these fields, that'll probably be the last time we harvest any of our fields. Um, just because, yeah, any of the fields that we buy, I guess if I have the equipment to harvest, meaning if there's potatoes or sugar beets, I'm going to get a cultivator out and just cultivate the darn things. Um because you know we leased all the potato and or no we did buy all the equipment oh well i need to sell it back i need money or something i'm sitting at almost 10 million dollars up there right now but i need money guys i got a lot of fields to buy if you think about it so there's that but uh yeah running through checking on my animals and then i had a thought i had a thought guys for harvesting the What's your medoodles? The potatoes and the sugar beets. Um, these trailers are going to be too tall to unload the potato and sugar beet harvesters. So, i got to figure out some kind of trailer that has capacity because, my God, we're going to need the capacity. But that has lower sides. So, kind of a problem. But then I got looking at, like, that Johnskin trailer. I know I've used that before with the Ropa. The first time I did sugar beets on the regular size map. So I was like, you know, okay, maybe this trailer will work. So let's run over there and just see um, if this is going to work or not. Because I wasn't sure. I was not sure at the time if it was actually going to work or not. But um, that's okay. We'll get back to that. We're just kind of all over the map right now. By the way, 10 mil plus. 10 mil plus, just saying. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Uh, so all these are full of manure, and now I'm going to fill them with compost. They're already full of water. So, is it raining outside? I think it's raining. I think it is. Uh, so they will they will uh, start producing right now. Uh, these other ones over here, like I said before, uh, they'll, they're full on compost, but they actually require seed as well, like actual seed. So we'll have to get to that later. Um... The place I just dumped is actually like a sell point. It bags it up and sells pallets on bags. Or bags on pallets, I should say. Um, so that's kind of cool. But, um, yeah. So there's that. So now what are we doing? We're switching the crop we're going to take to the animals. Because that's important to do. you got to switch that crop or whatever you want to call it, you know. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, I'm trying to check my my radar right now, by the way. That's why if I sound a bit distracted, there's probably a reason. Because I am. <laughs> oh, goodness. Got my local, local Fox Station app. You know, Fox 2 now. Their weather app. It's actually, for what it is, I really like it. I'm not going to lie. I really do like it. It doesn't... According to radar, there's nothing over me right now. The closest stuff's like a, a, a good ways away. But I can totally hear rain. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. It's not raining like it was last night. Last night I was out here uh, kind of late, by the way. And holy good God, did it ever rain. Oh, you like that there? I just span it, spun and spun in circles. Yeah, I, I I would tell you what was going on there, but it's kind of embarrassing. I fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep while I was playing, guys. I'm not gonna lie. 
Uh, I have been putting in some late nights here lately to uh, try to get some of this stuff done. And yeah, you can just tell by my driving here because randomly I'll just like, uh, and crash, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like <laughs> this is terrible. I actually didn't realize it was this bad because this is my first time watching the footage back. Oh God, how long did I sit here for? Uh, last night for me, uh, IRL, I was at my computer until four o'clock in the morning. Uh, I've been putting in the late nights here lately, boys. So that was, uh, that was me dozing off right there is what that was. I don't know what time it was when I was recording this, but late enough where I was, I was having some problems. So I really need to quit, uh, putting the late nights in, but what I'm trying to do and it's working so far is I'm trying to get all of what I call my work, which is Puma Plow. I'm trying to get, you know, far enough ahead on videos where I'm done recording basically everything. Like I need to make, I think two more, two more of these, this series. Well, this is 56. Oh, I need four more then. Oh man, that's a lot. Ooh, <laughs> maybe I'm not going to get the next one or cause this is 55 and 56. I've already got recorded. So 57, 58, 59, and 60, I don't have recorded yet. That's four. I don't know if I'm going to get that done. But anyway, the theory is, uh, and everybody probably already knows this, I'm trying to get done so I can put up my Christmas lights. Uh, Christmas lights take a ton of my time up. It's kind of become, it's honestly, it's like a month-long job. It's like a month-long 40, 50-hour, 60-hour-a-week job putting Christmas lights up. Um, of course, I mean, and I'm not complaining. I don't get paid to do it. Of course, nobody pays me to put the lights up. They're my lights. It's my project. Um, uh, I enjoy it. It, it has become a bit of a headache over the years because it does take so much time, but, uh, you know, I'm the one that chooses to do it. Nobody like standing there with a gun to my head. Like, dude, you better put up those Christmas lights, bro. Like get, get, you know, no, <laughs> nothing like that. But, uh, I, yeah, I'm trying to get all my Puma Plow work done uh, outside of live streaming. And, and, of course, there's a little bit to do here and there every day. But for the most part, you know, I've tried to get... Uh, I'm trying not to yawn on videos to make you guys yawn, too. I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to get all of my Puma Plow work done, basically, before I start lights. And... Uh, let me go back to my weather app. I'm actually, <laughs> the start of lights has got to be delayed a little bit this year because of the weather. I was hoping to get a nice early start. I won't work in the rain. A little light, light rain I would work in, but the rain they're forecasting for us <laughs> is like, it's a little real. It's a little real. See, here's the other problem too. I mean, that's actually not that bad. Um, okay, so they're calling for rain. Today's Wednesday, 57 and cloudy. Although I swear it's raining out there. I swear I can see, like, I, I can see a tree out through the front window. And I can see the leaves, like, dropping, you know, bouncing in the, in the, in the rain kind of thing. Um, I'll check after this video, though. So tomorrow they're calling for 70% chance of rain and then, like, a, you know... That's, that's going to happen. So I was hoping to start lights tomorrow, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So bonus day for me to be at this computer. And then Saturday or Friday, I might put in computer time at least a couple hours and then uh, hit the Christmas lights hard Saturday. I think that's what I'll do. I'll start Saturday with Christmas lights pretty hard. So I should be done with kind of putting a lot of work by Saturday. Uh, for the most part, I may not get all those episodes of Planes and Simples recorded, but uh, Planes and Simple. Um, and then it's clear. Let's see. So no rain Friday, no rain Saturday. Sunday, I'm not here, you know, because I go to my farm and work, which we're actually going to be doing some work down there towards Christmas lights, uh, redoing our electric for uh, for things and stuff and, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, and then they're calling rain monday tuesday and then after that it's it's nice so definitely going to be hitting it hard starting like next week but hopefully i can get it get it get it going uh sooner but uh anyway 
I digress. That's enough about my Christmas lights for now, uh, for now because that's the end of the video. How convenient. How convenient. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching another Plain and Simple. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, toodles.